Today we're going to demonstrate how to add control points to a survey from the Geopack database, the GPK file. So the first thing I'm going to do is in a clean design file, I'm going to go to my uh, survey processing tools and I'm going to open the project explorer and I'm also going to open the message center here. So to bring in a survey, I'm just going to, from my Windows Explorer, I'm going to drop in a raw data file. And as we see here, here's all the points. And there's no control points right now because I haven't designated any to be control points. So if I go do my adjustment, there will be no adjustment, as you see with a red X. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, my Geopack, my native Geopack, coordinate geometry. I'm going to open the GPK that contains the control points. Here's the two control points with these coordinates. And the easiest way is to just go ahead and save them as an XML file. So I'm going to export as a land XML. I'm going to grab both points, control 1 and 2. And it's going to go ahead and export it. And now, if I go here to my default field book, I'm going to go ahead and load a file. Select the type of file, land XML, grab that control XML file. And now my control points, if I look at the differences, it's going to overwrite the existing, which had no coordinate information, with the new one that does. I'm going to apply that, and now I see everything come up. Let me turn off my observations here, so you can see the survey a little bit better. If I look at control points, I can see here the two control points with their coordinates. And I can go ahead and do the adjustment. I'm going to right-click the adjustment and say turn on. And now my points have been adjusted as we saw them move. And another feature I would like to show is if you have a point, say this C3, you want to add as a control point, all you do is select it, right click it, and say create control point from selected item. And it will be created as a control point. So now I have all three created. Thank you.